Okay, so here we go working on this landing challenge. I think this is the second or, or uh, third or fourth attempt now. Um, not entirely sure, but we can see uh, the runway ahead of us uh, just slightly to the right being blocked by the compass on the dash now. Um, and we're flying. We're going about 85 knots. This is a Cessna um, 172, I believe. And we're going to start to... to bank a little bit towards it. Um, looks like we got some flaps down and uh, no landing gear on this plane obviously because it's fixed in place. Um, looking like we're about 800 feet or so above the runway. Uh, runway's just about a thousand feet and you can see on the right G1000 monitor you can see the um, runway kind of marked there with that uh, purple uh, the magenta pink uh, marker near it. Um, we've got kind of that 3D live view on the left uh, monitor for us. It's a little inset map, which is pretty handy. So we're just going to drop down. Um, I did learn that um, you are supposed to touch down in the blue box and not stop the aircraft in the blue box, which is a mistake I was making. Um, and so what that was doing is causing me to land pretty early on and our vertical speed was higher than um, what we would want coming in. So um, we've gone ahead and reduced down to an idle now and you can see with about 10 degrees of flaps um, we're still going about 80 knots or so which is okay because we will um, not quite stall but we will lose quite a bit of airspeed as we pick up because our air, uh, vertical speed is about a thousand feet per minute right now. So we'll pick up on that um, you can see our speed drop um, pretty good, and we'll pick up on the stick now. Looks like we're going to have a delayed touchdown compared to the uh, point here. Actually, we might just be able to touch down right in the box. And brakes, make sure we stay on track um, regarding the center of the runway and let's see how we did hopefully this is a high b score but that was a little bit of a rough touchdown wow an a um, very very impressive this is a cold flight for the night first flight jumping right into it scoring our first a on the landing challenge you can see um, smoothness 243 feet per minute that definitely needs improvement but looks like as far as the precision and ground roll we did pretty good here um earned our first A. So with that in mind, we might go through and work through some of the old landing challenges that we've done, um, and then also go back and obviously with the new ones, carry forward this this new knowledge of how we're supposed to do them. So really excited. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos.